I cannot believe this. vlog i'm so excited to film this this is like the trip of a lifetime for zach and i and we are just so excited after about a 14 hour travel day we have arrived in germany and we've been up for over 24 hours at this point we're trying to wait to go to bed till it's like bedtime over here in germany but we're like six hours ahead his sister and her husband are stationed over here in germany so we flew back with Quinn and we're gonna catch a train in the morning to Paris. It's like two and a half hours from here. We're gonna stay there for like three days and then we're gonna catch a train to Belgium. We are so excited. I can hardly wait. Well, here we go. I uh, hope we don't get lost because I made our entire honeymoon itinerary and this is my first time traveling in Europe. So wish me luck. Finally here, so and it's so cute. So Zach's gonna give us a little tour. So to our right, right here, we have our lovely kitchen. So nice cute. Little sink, little toaster action. Even an little oven. Sink. We have our nice living room area. Beautiful sofa, beautiful table. <laughs> Here's our cozy room. Here's our lovely little bathroom. The bathroom is nice. It actually is. There's a light somewhere over here. Oh, that is the light. Yeah. I love these windows. Perfect little size Airbnb. And there's a skylight. Yes, sir. All right. Now we're going to go eat steak and chips. Yes, sir. Mom, oh. let's go. Oh. It's so cute. I figure out how to get the air on right now. So we just propped up this, um, what is that, an iron? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so hopefully we can get some draft in here. Oh, you got it? it. You have to hold it down. Oh. Okay, so we should shut these now. But what do you think the temperature is outside? It feels so good. 66? 78. Oh. But with the wind. With the wind? Just, yeah, with the wind was blowing, it was nice. Okay. Let's these while we're going. Air conditioning in Europe? Let's go. <laughs> I love you. Look at all these plants out here. Where? On, on the back, or on the windowsills. Oh, yeah. There's plants in like every windowsill here. Okay, let's go. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Mom. Mom. 
I got Zach a fanny pack and myself, and they are very useful. Maddie, did you hear that? Zach said, holy smokes, Maddie made it to Paris. We didn't know you were gonna join us, Maddie. <laughs> Something new. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true. Mm. Holding on too long and on, we solve questions, hold you down. What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown. I'm moving on. And on. Our very first time seeing the Apple Tower. Oh, oh my God. And they were like famous for steak and chips. And it looked like everyone on TikTok was hyping it up. Some type of bread. Yeah, we had bread and then they brought out the steak and chips, which is steak and french fries. And they put this like green sauce on top. And we were starving, so I would have eaten anything, but it just kind of tasted weird. Yeah, it was strange. I'm gonna rate it a six out of 10. I said the same, um, the experience was nice. And then Pink Mama today. Yeah, Pink Mama is like super hard to get seated on the top floor, <laughs> there's four stories. And we got seated on the top, but I made my reservation like two weeks ago. Yeah, it was really good and we had pasta. So I'm gonna rate it a eight and a half out of 10. I was gonna say eight, but for the price, yeah. I'll probably say nine. Yeah, it was really it was good. 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 Zach liked his pasta. I didn't like Zach's pasta, but I liked my pasta. So it was real pasta. You could feel the dough. Mm -hmm. It was dough. like thick. Mine just kind of tasted like ravioli. It wasn't none of that American bowl of your noodles. No. And we had to use Cash App to Uber. <laughs> yeah, my card won't work, and I've called the bank two times to make sure that they could like authorize it to use it in Europe and it's not working, so. But yeah, so we're gonna Uber over. I reserved a dinner cruise. Mom, no. let's go. Mention the weather. No, it's about the weather. 65 this morning on our walk to Pink Mama. It feels it's amazing warm. over here. We couldn't have picked a better time for the weather. It was wonderful. It's not hot at all. There's well, not when people. you're walking. It's not bad when you're walking, but when you, like, we got our Uber. 
It's rough. Like yeah. you think they're gonna, you think they're gonna crash several times because they cut each other off, and then it's kind of cool seeing it. They drive crazy. Yeah, we saw the Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah, we were walking back from dinner, and Zach spotted the Eiffel Tower. We didn't even mean to run into it, so. so we saw the Eiffel Tower for the first time yesterday. Cheers. Cheers. Another cheers. The Coke over here is bus and bussing. It's so good. So on our way home from dinner, we stopped at this little market and got Coke, some eggs, water. Water. Zach loves it. Uh, the architecture. Yeah, and it feels so good. The people are nicer than I thought they'd be. Yeah. Nice. How does it feel to be a married man? Oh, no way. It's grand. <laughs> We've been married for five days. Oh, That's crazy. It's fun. this sand from the park at the Eiffel Tower and we just put it in our little honeymoon bottle. Half of it from Paris and the other half is going to be Belgium. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high 
Even if the sky is falling down Goodbye, Paris. You were so good to us. This is the coziest little Airbnb. It was perfect. Did you hear that? There's a downstairs. <laughs> Absolutely. What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown. I'm moving on. My first impression of Bruges is yeah. like walking through a movie everywhere. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. 10, 10 and, and a half. 10 and a half out of 10. So we got to the end of this. What's that? 
got British guys on it. Or was it Australian? Anything can be cropped out. <laughs> Except that. Wow. Oh, really? For sure. <laughs> so we finished up in Paris yesterday and we had to catch a train at 6.30 this morning. So we woke up at 5.30 somehow and it was a four hour bus ride, but I told Zach that I liked it better than having to catch multiple different trains to get somewhere, which is what we're gonna have to do when we go back to Germany. Cause we have three different, um, like four. we have four different switches on the train. So yeah, it was a good bus ride. It was like four hours and we got here around 11 and we couldn't check in until three. So we just dropped our bags off and we started walking down the street to lunch. And it was literally like a fairy tale. Like, I think I might vibe with Belgium even more than Paris just because, I don't know, it's just so like cozy and romantic, this little town we're in. So, yeah, then we came back. Oh, we had a bus and lunch. It was good. It was like burgers and french fries and these like cheese ball things. And then we did a little bit of shopping. And we came back. And I don't know what happened, but Zara fell asleep first. <laughs> and then I fell asleep. And we took a nap for like three hours. So, it's because we had to wake up at 5.30. That's why. Ah, so now, we're about to go um, back into town and get either some waffles or ice cream for the dessert. Because I'm, like, I'm not starving, but we filled up at lunch. So, let's go get some ice cream. It's probably like 65 degrees. So we're freezing, but it's okay. All right, All right fit check for Zach. This beautiful green top is from Zara. <laughs> nice little cozy pants. Good. Got shoes on, you know what I'm saying? I'm dying. This is the cutest outfit before this trip, I think. <laughs> My top is from Goodwill. My dress is from Planner's Closet. My fanny pack is from Sheen, mm -hmm. and my hair clips are from Plato's Closet. Shout out to Haley for showing me how to do bubble braids. It's bigger than it looked <laughs> in the window. It's like chocolate bread. Yeah, it's not too sweet. Wow. Mm. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I gotta try yours too. But you, they are wearing masks. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah. Maybe because it's only after marriage that the mask will fall off and they show their real character. <laughs> a little bit cynical, it's a little bit cynical. Eh? The artists, they knew the basis of a good marriage. What's the basis? Love. Yeah. That's why they have written the word love in 50 different languages on the pedestal. Yeah.
of the symbols on which is the Balfrey Tower, 83 meters in height, 366 steps to the top, 47 bells hanging there with a total weight of 27 tons. Also slowly, the tower starts to lean over to the right. Every year, a little bit more. So in 15 years from now, we're going to have our very own tower of Pisa on our heads. <laughs> Another attraction for Bruges. If you look closely on top of the building, you're going to see a symbol you're probably all going to recognize. So here, left-hand side on top of the White House, it's our very first McDonald's from the 17th century. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you forget it. <laughs> Here at the bridge on the left. some butterflies and bees <laughs> so this morning we went on a boat and walking tour and it was actually like a lot better than we thought it was gonna be it was beautiful yeah but i i still like the boat tour the best yeah. afterwards we stopped in the cutest little shop i could have stayed in there for hours and zach had a genius idea so we picked up multiple seeds of all these different little plants we saw and we're going to plant them on our future home from our honeymoon in Bruges. Seeds from Bruges. Yeah. There's sunflowers everywhere here. Yes, they have fields and fields and fields. It'll be cute. Yeah, so we got that. Yeah, that floor was a 10 out of 10. We had the best boat guide. Perfect sense of humor. Yeah, he was fun. And then we had a good tour guide as well. He was, you could tell he loved it. He was sweet. This is it. So we went to a thrift store and I found these overalls for, how much was it? Three, three euro. euro. For three euro, which is like $5 USD. We got this little pillowcase. Her couch. It says Bruges up there. And this is the cathedral mm -hmm. of Our Lady and then the, the canals. Mm -hmm. I don't know which bridge it is, but they have multiple different bridges that are famous for multiple different things. Oh yeah. In Paris, we stopped at a little, um, what is it called? A gift shop? Yeah, a little like souvenir shop. And I got this tote bag. And when we were at the Louvre, we got Apple Tower. Beautiful. So yeah, we got that at the Louvre. I don't know where you got this. I got this at the souvenir shop. It's like a little coin purse. But I love this. It took me like, <laughs> like 4, 20 minutes no, to 20. pick out which one I wanted. There was literally hundreds. There was cats, brew stuff. Dogs in suits. Dogs in suits. Like there were some weird ones. And the weather today. A little overcast, but it's beautiful. Yeah. The wind feels good. 10 out of 10. Love Bruges. Yeah. I think we like Bruges even more than Paris. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> 
it's just like a vibe. It's so cozy and cute and it's like 10 minutes to everything that we're gonna go to. There's a huge, what do they call it? Market square? The, yeah, yeah, the the square. square. And we can walk to everything. Like we tried to walk to a lot in Paris, but we had to Uber to some places cause it was just too far. Yeah. But everything here is within like 13 minutes from yeah. us, so. Now we're gonna take a nap. I've been dreading is here. It's the last day of our honeymoon and I'm kind of sad. I didn't really want it to ever end but it was the best trip we could have ever asked for. There was only a few bumps here and there but we survived Europe and it was the funnest thing we've ever done. We're probably going to start saving up for our next trip as soon as we get home because we absolutely loved it. I'm just so glad that we filmed it so that we have this video to look back on and yeah so thanks for watching and maybe we'll make some more videos in the future.